Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install World Edit in Minecraft 1.13.2 single player. Now I know this is 1.8 here, but I can't put the 1.13.2 video on the video whenever I'm recording the video. Does that make sense? So this is for 1.13.2 and it is going to be every step of the way covered in this video, installing Forge, all that. We're gonna be doing it right here in this video. I'm gonna have some troubleshooting issues for you if you have some issues with like Forge and it not working or whatever. I'm going to be able to help you with those directly in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server running modded Minecraft, running mod packs, running world edit, whether it's on a server with plugins, whether it's on a Forge server, whatever you want to do, you can do it with Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can set it all up with just one click. Apex is so easy, you can set your server up in under five minutes over there, and they have the best hardware around. We love them so much, we actually host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So nevertheless, if you're looking for the best Minecraft server host in the multiverse, currently out there today, check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. But you're here to get world edit in your single player Minecraft world, and that's what we're going to do. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is actually our in-depth tutorial on installing world edit in Minecraft single player. If you have any issues, this will walk you through every single step. So come here, and we'll go through it. Also, if I go too fast, this will walk you through everything. Once you're here though, go ahead and click on the download world edit button right here. And that will take us off to world edit's official download page where we want to click on file right here. That will take us to all of the single player world edit downloads. Don't go slamming that download button immediately though. We want to make sure this is for 1.13.2. And if we come over here to game version, we'll see game version 1.13.2. Go ahead and make sure you're on that one. Come on over and click the little gray download button next to it here. As you can see, we're on world edit 7, 1.13.2. We're good to go and we're downloading. This will then download in the bottom left. Now you will have to keep the file down here, right? See that? Keep. So go ahead, make sure you keep the file, and it's safe to keep as long as it starts with world edit and ends with dot jar, which ours does. It starts with world edit and ends with dot jar. So let's go ahead and click keep on that file. Now if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's popped up in the center of your screen and you'll have to click save file there. Now we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Forge is how Minecraft mods work. Every single one of them works through Forge. 99% of them work through Forge. So this is something we need for world edit because it's a Minecraft mod that works through Forge. To get here, go to the third link down below and then I'll take you here. Scroll down and you'll find this download Forge button. Click on that and this takes you off to Forge's official website for MC1.3. 13.2. See that? So we are on Minecraft 1.13.2. If you're not on the 1.13.2 version of Forge, go to the little plus icon over here and click on 1.13.2. Then it'll say MC 1.13.2 here. Once it does, come down here to installer and click on that installer button. Now we'll go ahead, take us off to add focus where we have to wait six seconds. Don't click anything on this page. Stop. Don't click anything on this page. No, it's like your download's not ready. Stop. Don't click anything at all. After six seconds in the top right, you will have a skip button, this red skip button here. Click on that, and then it will go ahead and be in the bottom left. Now, if this says Forge at the beginning, which ours does, and it ends in dot .jar, which ours does, we want to go ahead and click on Show All over here on the right. See that Show All button? Click on that, and that will take us to here. This is all of our downloads, right? that we have downloaded recently on our browser, right? What we want to do is keep dangerous file. You might be like, why would, why would I want to keep a dangerous file? I know it seems like it's going to be a bad thing, but it's not, I promise. As long as it starts with Forge and ends in .jar, you can see that this is downloaded from files.minecraftforge.net. That is the official Forge website. And as long as it says that right there, you are good to go ahead and keep this file. Say keep anyway, that's fine. Go ahead and keep the file. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's a lot less dramatic about it. You just need to click Save File in the center of your screen. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on our desktop here, I have two things. I have Forge and I have World Edit. As you can see, Forge 1.13.2 and World Edit for Minecraft 1.13.2. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're in your downloads folder. Just go on the little icons in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen. It will open up this where you then want to type in Downloads right like so. You'll have this downloads folder, click on that, and then in here you'll find World Edit and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with Forge. To install Forge, right click on it, click open with, and then click Java TM Platform SE Binary. Now, 
here's the thing if you click on this and it doesn't work see i clicked on it, it's going to open up this handy mod installer here but if yours doesn't work you have any issues if you don't have java tm platform se binary at all then you need to download it and you can do that from the description down below we have links for you specifically we have this link this is the how to download and install the java development kit which is needed not only to install forge but to run a minecraft server to do pretty much anything with minecraft outside of playing minecraft you need the java development kit and this tutorial will walk you through downloading installing it and getting it for your minecraft now if you do that and it still doesn't work you still can't open forge no worries we have a solution for you that's going to be the jar fix which is also linked down below and this tutorial walks you through how to do that very very simple and very very easy and after you've done that if you couldn't open forge you'll now be able to open forge by again just right clicking on it selecting open with and then clicking java tm platform se binary it'll open up this handy installer here we'll make sure install client is installed or not installed but clicked you want to make sure install client selected there and then click ok it'll go through install the client do everything it needs to do and then it'll say success Forge client profile is installed. And as you can see, successfully installed client profile for Forge 113.2. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK there. Now we need to get World Edit installed. And to do this, we again want to come up here to the top left. For me, it's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon on the bottom left. Click on that. And then in here, we want to type in run, R-U-N. This is the run application here. It should be a run desktop app here. Click on that. And then in this application, you want to type percent. APP DATA percent percent sign app data percent sign right next to where it says open and then click OK. At that point, it will open up this, the roaming folder, where you'll have a .minecraft folder. And in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if you don't have a mods folder? Well, no worries. Just create one. So you're going to right click, create a new folder and then title that folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open up your newly created mods folder then you want to take world edit for 113.2 and drag that into your mods folder at this point we can go ahead and open up minecraft right like so and before you slap play in the minecraft launcher wait stop what you need to do is click on the little green arrow next to the play button then you should have a profile titled forge and then under that it should say 1.13.2 forge if it does click on that and click play but if you don't have that no worries come on the three lines up here in the top right click on launch options and then click add new right here then you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com why am i naming it that because that is the best minecraft server in the multiverse our minecraft server actually with 1.13.2 grief protected survival the best survival server with quest player economy custom everything you'll absolutely love it so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com as well as an incredible skyblock server over there on that network we have over 200 players online every single weekend so again come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip nevertheless you then want to click next to version here and then you want to select 113.2 forge as you can see here it is release 1.13.2 dash forge click on that and then i'm going to change my resolution you don't have to i'm just changing it so you'll be able to see it in game and then i'm also going to add a little bit more ram to minecraft just because if you're using like world edit pretty resource intensively it can be ram intensive so then you can go ahead and click save once you're done now you can come back over here to the news tab you'll click the little green arrow next to the play button this time you'll select the profile you created in our case play.breakdowncraft.com and then click play as you can see it says 113.2-forge under the play button now minecraft will open up in 113.2 with forge installed it's pretty much that simple. Now, this isn't a tutorial on how to use World Edit. If it's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section down below. But once we get in game, I'll show you how to get the World Edit wand and maybe do some copy and pasting and things like that. I will also link the list to all of World Edit's commands in the description down below. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and let Minecraft load up. Oh, well, there we are. We are on the main menu. Once we're here, we can click on the Mods tab, and in here you will see World Edit. Now, we can also go into Single Player here, and I'm just going to create a new world for ease of use. I'll name it World Edit. And while you don't need to be in creative, you do need cheats on here, right? So you need to make sure cheats are on your world. If not, you can open it to land. But nevertheless, we'll go ahead and go in creative and click create new world. I'll let this world load up. Once it's loaded up, I'll see you in game. Here we are in Minecraft 1.13.2 with world edit installed. Let's get some of this like spawn loading lag gone there. There we go. Now to get our wand in game, all we want to do is do slash slash wand. And what this is going to do is, as you can see, give you your world edit wand. Now let's say you wanted to copy something. Well, you would right click to select a position and then go and left click to select the other position then you could do slash slash copy and then in chat it'll say 49 blocks affected basically however many blocks you copied is affected and you want to paste that somewhere do slash slash paste and hit enter 
boom, there you go. Let's say you wanted to remove something. You could cut something. So you could go ahead and click here, select one, come over here, select two, and then you can do slash slash cut to like remove that section. Then let's say this right here, you didn't like it being this. You wanted it to be diamond blocks. Let's go ahead, make that selection again. Right click, left click on each corner, opposite corners. Then we can do slash slash set diamond block right like so and boom that's now diamond blocks now there is a really cool feature as well world that i kind of want to show off here and that is the brush feature and to do that we need something else in our hand some other sort of tool i'm just going to use a diamond shovel that's because we're going to make it paint diamond blocks so to do that we want to do slash brush sorry slash slash brush right like so and then there's all sorts of stuff you can do with a brush here you can like do forest basically make a forest you can paint you can do all sorts of stuff but what i'm going to do is actually do the set brush which is going to change the blocks that are here then we can do whatever we want cuboid spear i'm just going to do cuboid and then i'm going to do diamond underscore block then as you can see set blood uh set brush to replace blocks and now we can just right click anywhere we want and it'll just build well you, you, you saw what it's done here. It's kind of trapped us in, in, in this sort of a huge diamond thing here. As you can see, kind of crazy. Now, we can actually build whatever we want to with this. If It'll stop trapping me. And um, yeah, kind of build like a cool sort of like archway or something like that. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do with the World Edit Brush Tool. So uh, yeah, and this is just one of them. You can do crazy things like this. You could also do... Uh, you can also like you know paint things and like change things and all sorts of cool stuff with this tool and now you can do it in single player i don't think there's any denying that uh, world that it's working thank you all so so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content on 113 mods as well as 114 mods i know it's out now as soon as 114 world it is out i'll be doing a video on it so be sure to subscribe to the channel for that nevertheless my name is nick thank you so so much for watching again i am out come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com peace